It's nice to be able to, to be actively involved in the process of giving back or sharing of your abundance. I, um, I feel that uh, the direct contact is really important to me, seeing the people who are able to um, have more because of what I do. I don't want people to think it's a shame to go to the food pantry. The food pantry is here to help everyone. You don't have to be on any assistance. You don't have to be. It's there to help the people that lives in the community. My name is Teresa Kelly. My name is Bobby Bell Mack. My name is Carl Crawford. Kimberly Dwyer. Kimberly. My name is Christy. My name is Faith. The advantage of living in Milton for me and coming through the migratory process and moving in and establishing there, they have a quality school system and uh, location, 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 which was one of the first considerations that I put into my mind because I'm able to get to the Cape or to Quincy or to Braintree or anywhere or to 95 to get out of here to go to New York or down to Providence or Newport, which I love for the wine country. And uh, when I was 23, I met, first time met my father at his mother's funeral in Ohio. And I knew of him, but didn't know him. And so, out of all places, I introduced myself at his mother's wake. And so it was through there, he was living here in Boston, and he wanted me to come to Boston to meet uh, siblings that I had, as well as family. Before we came to Milton, I was living in Roxbury. Mm -hmm. And then my family moved to Milton. Um, my parents chose that. They, it was for educational reasons. Is um, in Jamaica, we think education is the key to poverty. So we wanted them to come and get a good education. Upon going to Delaware State College, I dropped out, which was the wrong thing to do. I should have never dropped out uh, because I was like, the shortest guy on the team, but I was one of the best guys on the team. And um, I didn't know that I had the best stat statistics, the stacks. And my, my stacks were so good that Julius Urban came down. He wanted to sign me on the 76ers, but I had dropped out of college, went straight into the Army. And, and I've been in the Army ever since. I've been in the Army for 33 years in the Army. So along and going in the Army, I, um, I did a lot of various things. I played Army ball. I was a recon. I was a ranger. I was et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I was surprised that there were that many hungry people in town and kind of down on their luck. And they were all happy people working there, too. The volunteers were all very happy to be there. I've been volunteering here since October. I think I've been coming about 10 years, five weeks. I've been volunteering here for about seven months. Um, the people were friendly, the, the, were, the volunteers, and I met some of the recipients who seemed very pleasant. So I go to uh, St. Michael's Church here in Milton, and they have various different um, community service projects that they sponsor. 
And uh, so I, when I started going there, I thought, well, I should connect with one of their community service projects. And this was the first one I tried, and it just really stuck. It's just very satisfying. Uh, to, you know, you, you come in here and, and you feed people. It's very concrete. Well, my sister is a daisy, and one of the badges she has to earn is make the world a better place. And we think that donating food is an important thing for most people because not a lot of people have food that they need. It gives me an opportunity to not only deliver the food to, to the clients, but to get to, you know, talk to them and, and get to know them. And um, it's, really, it's very rewarding for only an hour of my time. I, you know, I really, it's, it's, it means a lot to me. A nun at my school connected me with the food pantry. Um, she said that it was good to volunteer um, locally, so I tried it with my friends last week, and I brought someone new this week. Around um, the like holiday season, and I was talking to my mom about like volunteering somewhere, and she told me that I should do something like more for our community instead of like a broader like something for Boston. So um, I contacted um, Michael, and then. I just started in. Although there are certain expenses that impact us living in Milton that perhaps would be less in other areas of New England, the resources that Milton provides to those who live here are benefits that can't be overlooked when making a choice about where to reside. I do think that the trade-off in terms of living in Milton, even though the cost of living is higher, um, is still beneficial for um, people to live here. Um, I do think that, you know, we have a beautiful community um, approximately seven miles from, like, the center of Boston. Um, we have lovely parks, we have the Blue Hills, um, there's a great school system. Um, it, it's a wonderful community to live in and to raise your family in. So, you know, that's got to be a benefit for anybody, regardless of like your social uh, standings. Milton is attractive to people coming out of the city because you cross from the city into Milton and you feel you're in the Blue Hills. You get a sense of. Um, being out of the city and you get, a, I believe, a sense of safety and a close community and a sense of, you know, the schools are often within walking distance and you're not too far from public transportation if you need it. And um, it just, it's a community that I think is welcoming. Milton Town donates a lot, like the Fruit Center, the Tucker Gardens. Um, I'm not sure about the the, food, the Boston Food Bank, but I know they also do donations. And I know there are the private stores like Stop and Shop and um, other supermarkets that donate. I have examples of uh, the people at the Council on Aging. I told them a senior w was raising a grandson who was four and she had cancer and couldn't sleep in her bed anymore. And I was asking, could anyone find maybe a used recliner? And their response was, we'll buy a new recliner for her. I think around the holidays that they do, they do like fundraisers and things like that. But I think that um, you need to get uh, the word out there more. There are certainly on a regular basis people that drop in and uh, bring donations. Some of the um, some of the uh, businesses here, the uh, fruit center, and uh, other places come and, uh, and contribute. And actually, through our uh, through our church, uh, they uh, periodically, uh, when they take donations, will um, provide some of the money to the um, to the food pantry. I know at um, St. Michael's they collect food for the pantry every week. I think a lot of other churches do that too. 
I know there's a lot of drop-off centers around the town, at the library, at the Council on Aging, I think. The schools all do great things. I know Milton Academy does. I know the public schools do. And like especially at Thanksgiving, they, you know, the kids decorate those boxes and bring in all the food. And then the high school, I think it's the football team comes in and helps. And so I think there's a lot of support in the town. I think I'm impressed by the goodwill that there is around town um, from, you know, everything from young school children to um, folks who, retire, who are retired who um, help make the pantry work. It's a regular place that you go if you need it and it outweighs hunger and it's, you know, no one should think that they're going to be hungry because the food pantry is always open for people who need help and no one ever get turned back. Take my picture, I want that in the paper, honey. <laughs>